What is up guys, Pro Player Apathy back in the building with another video and today, today, I'm very excited to bring you guys a new series called In the Mind of Apathy. Now, I did this back in Ghost, I did this a little bit in AW and I did probably one episode so far in this game. So I thought, why not? Why not put this, get the series back? Why not show you guys a couple things? And the whole point of this series, the whole point of this video in general is just to teach you guys things for you guys to learn, to see what's going on in my mind. And really give you tips as the video goes on. If you guys are really into competitive, if you guys want to learn, well, you're in the right place. So we're going to start off with some scrims versus Elevate. I know the game already started, but let's go on. Let's continue. If you guys really enjoyed this, make sure to leave a like. And let's get right into this. So a big thing, a really important thing is you always want to have a sub in Bricks on this map. Having a sub on Bricks is so, so crucial and it's so important. That is the one thing and the one thing only you usually want to have. Now, on the rotation onto this hill, you guys can see I pick up a two big piece front barn. And the reason is a lot of teams like to go, especially if they don't have no control at all of the second hill, which is what we're rotating to now. They want that back alley spawns. And you can see they're doing a great job of that. They're all rotating around. They're all trying to break that, get that barn spawn because it's the easiest way to break from back alley. That's exactly what they're doing. Slasher picks up one back alley, but I die. And the reason you want that back alley spawn is because you can flood through back alley, which you have head glitches, which is a really good, like, you're just in a really good position. And then you can have one guy come through bricks like this guy's doing right here. I managed to pick up the kill. I just try, I'm trying to stay alive here. And off spawn, you know, 35 seconds left. I decide peak middle because usually, especially when the team has back alley spawn, they're going to pinch through middle. Now, I easily read this guy. I don't, I believe I don't get this kill, but I do a great job of just reading that, calling it out. I spawned out. They did a good job. The Elevate did a good job. Of, you know, basically what I told you guys. You really want to start pinching around 25, 30 seconds for the next hill. And they did that. I, I pick up a huge two-piece. But this is where I mess up. I go into the hill. Instead of fighting for the continue to fight for the spawns. I believe J-Cat gets this kill. But he gets taken out by Aqua. I'm in a terrible position. He's just like jumping around pre -aiming, And he picks me off too. And now I spawn out. Usually there, guys. This, this is a big tip that I got to start using too is... Before the hill is even up, what you always want to do is you want to fight for spawns. Don't worry about the hill. The hill will come after. Spawns are the most important thing, especially in a hill like Grandma's where spawns are so, so, so important. So right here, moving on to the next hill, moving to Grandma's hill, the way you want to break it is by going middle train. Never go by 10. You're just giving useless deaths. Right here, I'm just flying out, trying to get some bullets in as I'm going to train. My teammate dies trained. I'm here, I'm here doing the slide off this ramp, get to the back very quickly. And this is a great spot. Now I just need to pick up a kill. I managed to pick up Fatinto and I start shooting people in the back. I get two assists and JCAP picks up the two piece. Now this is what we wanted from the start. We managed to break the hill. We only get 20 seconds, but we get spawns for the next hill, which is Peaches. Now you want these Peaches spawns when it comes to this hill. This is the better spawn. And it's just, you're just in a better position. You spawn right there. And I always, uh, you know, this is the spawn you want. So we did a good job. Even though we got only 20 seconds, we get spawns for the next hill. Now here, I peek middle real quick. Make sure no one is pinching. And I know they're pushing out. So I go L wall around, wrap around to get some easy shots in the back. Get a two-piece. Made it a Tempest guy. He was weak. Pick up. I mean, that's a two-piece. My bad. Let me correct myself there. But Aqua does a good job in re-pinching. Aqua did. Aqua really messed us up there because he pinched it. No one was really paying attention. Someone always has to look at pinch. The fourth guy who spawns up usually always should look at the pinch. Unfortunately, no one did look at the pinch and Aqua pinched it somehow. But my teammate do a good job of getting three kills. I'm here. I challenge the side guy right away. You know, I'm just trying to push shots. I pick up a nice two-piece. Use Kinetic. Try to buy some time. Put some shots in. Uh, you know, it wasn't necessarily a way to Kinetic because Slasher picks up the kill and we're guaranteed another 15 seconds. But e even then, I was just making sure trying to guarantee this time. Someone jumps above my head, I jump higher, kill Nagafin. And the reason I really chose this gameplay is because, for the most part, they're always in the lead. They're always in the lead. Uh, you know, this is, uh, it's, we had to grind out this map. We had to work hard for it. And this is on their host, by the way. I don't know if I pointed that out. So, that was a pretty much a joke. On All right, I'm, I'm not going to talk too much about host. So, right here, pretty much the setup you usually want to have on this mid hill is you want to have a sub in bricks or a sub pinching train if you're spawning out. And then you want to have two ARs watching down middle of the map. So the, 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 if you have two subs, usually you should usually have two subs on this map. Some people like to use three ARs on this hill. I personally like two subs. You want to have, <laughs> that's me calling them trash just for fun. But usually you want to have a sub going bricks. And then the other sub, a sub mandatory going to bricks. And then the other sub 
go and either flank around train or go to hill and try to hop on hill. So that's the two job and then two ARs fight middle. So right here, I push out. Of, I, I wanted to get a good position. I noticed there's only 20 seconds left. There's no point in me challenging the hill. You know, one time, like, in, in a team game, especially in Black Ops 3, everyone should be playing for everything. Like, there shouldn't be a role. Like, I tell you as a role as a sub in AR, that's different. But a role as in, are you play for spawns, I'm always playing for hill. No, that's that's completely incorrect. So I just rotated early for my team. You know, I don't do it all the time. We all spread it out, but, you know, I just did it that time. So right here, uh, they do a great job again, going all the way around barn, going to bricks, and they break us. Right here, Jcat picks up a two-piece. I'm just like, all right, let's just go. Let's go. It's only one guy in hill. I call out the guy I scared in bricks because I get shot in the back. And now, 33 seconds left. I was good. I do EMP someone in the middle. I was going to go middle, but my teammates are getting flooded. I do not want to give up this 30 seconds. This is way too much time. And unfortunately, we still, I'm pretty sure we still give it up. But the good thing is we keep spawns. I go straight into hill because this is a good spot to like peek down the middle map. I'm putting shots into people. Just trying to stay alive. I get out the hill because there's someone already in hill. I decide, you know what, I'm going to help my teammates respond. I pick up the guy Elwa. You know, I try to slide into mid map. Pretty much the basic setup you want to have. You see, this is the good thing about having a sub roam around. I mean, I almost killed this guy. Oh, if I would have killed the sensor there. But the setup you want to have is one guy holding tin, one guy in hill, one guy holding train, and like a sub AR, whoever, just roaming around, helping train in the middle usually. Because tin is easily can help be held by one guy. I see my teammate. I'm, we see, this is the point. I pick up a nice two pieces. And the only reason I picked up that two piece was because of my position. Now, staying alive here is so crucial. I easily outplay Aqua. He thinks I probably pushed out Peaches. He pushes for spawns. And I did such a great job just backing up train and just staying alive, knowing he has to push out. And luckily, he didn't peek me. So right here, we do a good job. I outgun Nagafin. And I'm pretty, much, I'm pretty sure we secured this 25 seconds. And we just did a good job as a holding spawns. Like, that's how you want to have it. Now, I get he went here. Luckily, I didn't use Kinetic because it was probably going to be a waste of Kinetic. I was, I was contemplating of using it. You know, I, I know they're fighting in the hill. They break us spawns. You know, it, it's unfortunate, but we do have, you know, my team rotated early to this hill. Like I said, fourth guy, always want to watch pinch on this side. And a big tip to you guys on this train hill is you want to secure one spawn. And listen carefully. On this train hill, it's so important and so crucial to secure one side. Because if you don't secure a barn or peaches, you're always going to spawn out back alley. And that's how you give a team 60 seconds. See, my team's doing a good job. Of securing that barn spawn but now here i have a perfect time to pinch my teammates are doing a good job of holding the hill i pick up nice two-piece push shots on the third guys get the assist and i get peach spawns that was like a play like similar to aqua did early on if you guys remember you know pitching in that hill is really 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 good you want the peach spawn you want to spawn them out back alley but then again it's always it's also about timing aqua timed it really well and that's why he caught us off guard i timed it really well there and caught them off guard it got an easy two-piece and an assist and now we get this last like 30 seconds. And uh, due to that pinch, you know, we're pretty much uncontested. And we get this last like 30 seconds in the hill, which brings us a lot closer to comeback. We're coming back slowly but surely. Now here, I might as well push out barn. There's no point of me to do anything else here. You know, no point of me to go around. I'm just waiting for Facinto. I know, I know Slash is going to light me here. So all I'm doing is being a nuisance and staying alive. There's no point of me to push forward. You know, it's just, they know I'm here. So it's just a nuisance. I easily spot... I think it was fellow trying to look for me. Unfortunately, I died, but I just did a great job of staying alive, picking up a kill or two in here, and that's that's all really what I had to do. So right here, I go and breaks right away. Challenge the guy in hill, slide. Now a big tip I can give you guys on this hill: you always, if you have a sub with stock, I'm not I'm not saying always peek out, but look, you see what I'm doing is I'm peeking to the left and right, and and it's trying to push shots and and get information because if if I do it correctly, they can't kill me in time. It's obviously a little risky. But it just helps the team out so much, and it gives my team so much information. I also know if someone's pushing me or not, rather than just looking straight at the truck and not seeing anything, and I just get pushed and die. So right here, what what exactly what I said, we're going to be fighting for this barn spawn now. Usually when you want to fight for this barn spawn, usually when it comes to rotating to the second hill, it's when they have full control, because that is the way to break it. Now, unfortunately, we spawn peaches, so at this point, there's no point for me to go all the way around barn. You know, one of us might as well hold 10. My teammate's doing that because it's completely fine. But we should have at least one guy trying to pinch 10. You don't want to have all four of us playing for, for a barn, especially with 45 seconds left. So Aqua's doing a great job holding that position with AR. Not much we can do here, obviously. But, you know, we're just slowly trying to break this hill. I'm just flying out. J-Cap comes in. Slash comes in with the scythe. I'm just baiting out. We're just doing a great job. 
25 seconds left. I'm just trying to hold 10. I know they're going to flood. They want this time. I know one guy is going to get greedy. I pick up Aqua. 20 seconds. We need to rotate. I try. I Usually what you always want to do is this. If you see a guy wood, wood wall, never jump out. Always like go at the corner of 10 and you can easily see it. Unfortunately, he won the gunfight. But that's like the way you want to challenge it. So right here, we're rotating. We know we have to go around train. But Sinto just fucking headshots me there. Pretty much guns me. And, you know, I pull out smokes. I'm like, all right, this is a perfect time to use smokes. I don't really use smokes on this map, but I'm going to try to start using them more. They're really effective. Really good way of just, uh, you know, just co covering ground and pushing up. So right here, my teammates do a good job of getting three. I get the kill on Hill. Now, that was a bad play on my part. If you guys remember earlier, I talked about how I should have played for spawns. I did the same thing here, and I get heat waved, and I die. Next time, even though my team did a good job of slaying, I do agree that I should have, instead of going straight to the hill, I should have played for spawns in the back. We definitely would have been a 4v3, definitely would have got the spawns. But here I throw some more smokes, get the kill on Nagafin, and I still have Kinetic. But you're going to see, like when it comes to me, I don't like using Kinetic right away. Like for this gunfight, when we're pitching, there's no point for me to waste Kinetic here. Kinetic is so important. Like right here, I could have possibly used it, but for 10 seconds with my teammates right there, I didn't think it was really worth it. I always try to save Kinetic for crucial, really important gunfights. And a perfect one is right here. This guy, Nagafin, is trying to pinch. He almost guns me. If I didn't have Kinetic there, I there's a possibility that I would have died. He would have pinched, and we probably would have spawned out, and they easily win this hill. But instead, I saved it for an important situation. Now, here we're spawning Peaches. I peek, pinch right away. Like I said, fourth guy usually peeks, pinch. But as a sub, I just smoke out, and I go straight into hill. Like I said, kind of trying to start trying to trying to use smokes trying to you know test them out i try to buy time for my teammate stay alive get straight into small room my fellow knows i'm there picks me up but in the midst of everything nogfin ends up team killing him jcat does a great job of looking at pinch like you should and he gets a kill right here we all should challenge fellow right away fellow buys time for his teammates that was a bad play on our part that this we could easily won off the hill we challenge fellow i managed to kill him with the sub i get pinched i just get like rushed Right here, we just want to contest for a couple seconds, but I rotate early. There's no point. This head glitch right here is actually pretty good. No one really does it. Go right there in the corner of the truck. And, you know, we rotate early. My teammates do a good job of contesting that for at least like five, six seconds. Right here, bricks is so important. As you see, but my teammate gets rushed. But look how important it is. Now, I have to go back into bricks. I could have stayed at the window, but it's just a possibility to get shot from this. I try to jump in right away. Now, John gets a nice three kills. I'm trying, John gets taken out, Nagafin's doing a great job, just holding bricks, and it's like what I said, bricks is so crucial when it comes to that, we're just flooding hill, flooding hill here, and at this point, all it is is flooding, trying to get some control, but at, at this point, it's just shooting because they need to rush the hill, Slasher goes off, I have a pretty good game myself, John and Jcap do their thing, and you know, this was on their host, but it was such a close map, and the reason it was so close is because, it's just the little things, like the two times I should have played for spawns, uh, when Aqua pinched, cost us like 30 seconds. Uh, when I should have done something else at one time. When we should have killed Fellow. And it just all added up. That's why you got to learn from your mistakes. But either way, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Hope you learned a couple new things. And I'm out. Peace.